Plus, an accused cop killer's defiant wife takes the witness stand. Good evening. If you ever wanted to see a fierce fight between a prosecutor and a hostile witness, you should have been in the courtroom today. DA Carrie Brandenburg went after Michael Astorga's estranged wife about what happened before and after her husband allegedly murdered Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy James McGrain four years ago. It got so intense that the judge declared her a hostile witness. News 13's Maria Medina is live outside district court. And Jess, the DA says Marcella Astorga's made up so many lies, she can't even keep them straight. It's hard to remember lies, isn't it? That's a question. I know, but which lie are you pertaining to? All of the lies that we're talking about. False statements that I gave, yes. It's not too hard to remember the truth. It's hard to remember lies, isn't it? Marcella Storga claims she didn't tell investigators who questioned her the day of Deputy McGrain's murder that she'd met her husband at an Albuquerque restaurant and dropped him off at a friend's home in Rio Rancho because she claimed investigators threatened to kill Astorga once they found him. Today, District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg combed through several of Marcella's statements, trying to get Marcella to tell her what was the truth and what were lies. But many times on the stand, Marcella claimed she couldn't remember what she'd said to investigators. Marcella first told them that hours before the murder, her husband was driving the Dodge pickup. Investigators say McGrain pulled over just before he was shot to death. But now she claims she doesn't remember what vehicle she saw him driving. She also initially told investigators she saw her husband at their East Mountain home hours after the murder, but later said she didn't see him there. Now she's claiming she instead met up with him in Albuquerque and that nothing seemed out of the ordinary with him. Why didn't you say there's not a problem? He, he was just here. I don't think that would have worked. They wanted, they weren't accusing him. They were, they were saying, your husband killed this officer and we're going to get him. So at this point, I knew he's innocent. I was saying what the cops had, the officers wanted me to say. The police officers that I had met with from March 22nd in the morning had already been saying that they were going to kill him. And testimony wrapped up about an hour and a half ago. Prosecutors finished up their questioning, and the defense began uh, cross-examining Astorga. The trial is set to resume again on Monday. Jess. Okay, Maria, Marcella Astorga also didn't want to confirm whether she ever saw her husband with a handgun. She also denies that he went by the name Donnie Cedillo. Prosecutors claim he used that name as an alias because he knew he was wanted for police for another murder. That's the motive prosecutors say he had for killing Deputy McGrain.